Jeff Bezos' hack inquiry falls short of implicating National Enquirer. Almost a year ago, Jeff Bezos hinted that Saudi Arabia had played a role in the National Enquirer's 11-page expose of his affair with Los Angeles television personality Lawrence Sanchez. In making the case in a post on the website Medium, Bezos noted that his newspaper, The Washington Post, had published Saudi dissident Jamal Khashoggi and had also covered the kingdom's suspected role in his murder. In the post, Bezos said he had retained security expert Gavin DeBecker to investigate how the tabloid had obtained his text messages. This week, a forensic analysis commissioned by Bezos was made public, and it concluded with medium to high confidence that his iPhone 10 had been hacked after he received a video from a WhatsApp message sent to him from an account reportedly belonging to Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman of Saudi Arabia, with whom the billionaire had swapped contacts at a dinner in Los Angeles. The Bezos report compiled under DeBecker by the digital security firm FTI Consulting, was so juicy that it overwhelmed traditional journalistic skepticism at some news outlets. The details were hard to resist, an allegedly murderous crown prince, the world's richest man and his intimate text splashed across the pages of a supermarket tabloid that has ties to crown prince Mohammed and a longtime Bezos detractor, President Trump. In the swirl of coverage, Bezos' allegations took on a life of their own with some news coverage veering into speculation. The report offers one explanation of how the National Enquirer, a tabloid, obtained and published text messages Bezos had sent to his mistress, CNBC reported. The BBC asserted that information extracted from Bezos' phone was leaked to the American tabloid. In fact, the report did not definitively link the hacking to the Enquirer expose. Months of reporting by the New York Times and other publications, including information that has emerged in recent days, appears to refute the notion that the Inquirer, owned by American Media Incorporated, received the information for the expose from a foreign hack of Bezos' phone. The hacking of an American by a foreign leader would count as an affront to national sovereignty and security under normal protocols. It also has legal implications. American media is under the watch of federal law enforcement officials in New York who have agreed not to prosecute the company for its role in aiding Trump's 2016 campaign as long as it does not break the law. The widespread coverage of the report also has personal implications for Bezos, who has achieved something of a coup in this latest bit of news. On February 7, weeks after the Inquirer's expose appeared in supermarket tracks, Bezos published the Medium article suggesting a possible connection between Saudi Arabia and the tabloid scoop. He noted that th for more on this story, visit the news article link.